Cancer, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you today. Not sure what's going to come out in the cards, but whatever comes out, we'll read. We're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you may need to be aware of. Keep in mind what you may need to be aware of could be a positive, just might be something you don't want to miss. Let's get started. Ooh, 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 three ones. So, three ones, somebody can see kind of what they want to do. There is that progress that's happening. Now that's, and then in your desires, we have the ten of wands. So maybe somebody's really looking to sort of dig down and get their feet, their feet, their hands dirty <laughs> and really start working. Um, somebody wants some determination. And then in the outcome, we have the Eight of Wands, which is different information that could be coming in for you. There's progress after things have been held back. We have the star that's showing up for you. So hopes and dreams. And then what you need to be aware of is being stuck in your head. That said, Cancer, let's go through this and start to clarify what is going on for you. So why? is the Three of Wands here in their current energy. Knight of Wands, the World, and the High Priestess. So, <clears throat> the High Priestess is your energy. And we see that possibly a change is going to change your world. Where you're able to move somewhere else, possibly move in with somebody, and create the success and happiness that you really desire. Now, why is the Ten of Wands here? This is really interesting because I just pulled these as an exact three for one of the other... Um, I almost want to say it was Aries. Uh, you want a new beginning. You're tired of pushing. We can see that you want a new beginning. Uh, there could be somebody that is bringing in something new for you or helping you with that with the high priest here. And then that has you really working on something different. But I almost get uh, high priest, or sorry, the high priest for me is usually like a marriage thing. And it seems like maybe somebody is actually wanting a new relationship and to start something new with somebody and really start from the ground up and really build something new. So why is the eight of wands here? Wow. It seems like you've been held back. Uh, we've got the Five of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Swords. There's just been delay after delay after delay. Uh, there's just that energy of like... <sighs> okay, I'm going to drop an F-bomb here. Like, fuck, can things get any worse? Or like, upsetting? Four of Cups... Five of Cups, like, I don't know what to do, I'm discouraged, and it just seems like whatever I'm trying to do, my way is blocked. Uh, that is going to finally release with the Eight of Wands. Now, why is the star here? Wow. Wow. So five of wands, seven of wands, and the hermit. Uh, <sighs> I don't mean to laugh, but it just seems it's like the five of wands and the seven of wands, a lot of conflict. Um, the star card is like hope and healing and optimism. And you know what? If you're able to keep that up with what's been going on for you uh, in order to find your new path, you know, kudos because this look I, I would be really I wouldn't be surprised if the strength card shows up uh, but I can see that like you've really had to put in a lot of work here and you're tired of it and I can see that and you know you it looks like you've just been trying so hard to make your hopes and dreams come true uh, and find your path now why is the eight of swords here why is the eight of swords here Yeah, I just pulled these exact same cards for one of the other sides. 
Uh, Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands. It seems like there's some indecision about letting uh, a love go in order for a new one to come in. Or there's somebody that's coming in and you're not sure if you even want to let them in. Even though, you know, it's some type of partnership and it's just got you up in your head. It doesn't really... <clears throat> Or maybe you're thinking of partnering with somebody or offering somebody something, but you're so up in your head uh, about it that, you know, you're just worried about losing this, this offer that comes in. And maybe you, you know, because of how much you've had to fight and go through, uh, I want to pull three more cards for this. Justice, strength, and the Ace of Swords. <laughs> Things are ba going to balance out. We have the Justice card here. So this could be a divorce for some for somebody uh, or some type of legal matter. And then we have the Strength card. You know, there's just... Things are balancing out. You've just got to, you know, you got to buck up. Unfortunately, it, there's some intestinal fortitude that's needed. And rest assured that if you're able to think your way through this, things are definitely going to clear up for you. Now, this seems like a really heavy read. Uh, what I want to do is I want to pull three more cards for you. Actually, not three more cards. I want to pull an Oracle card, pardon me. Uh, it's not always something I use as the Oracle cards. I'm using the Universe Has Your Back. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Well, you can see with what's going on for you, if you were to have a little bit of joy in all of this, to be able to sit back and really just smile, we could see that you would have everything sort of fall into place even though sometimes to make a diamond coal's got to go through the pressure cancer thank you for being here best of luck with this week let me know how it turns out for you we will talk to you soon stay safe